Namaste, Ram Ram. Shalom, Salam, Good Morning, Peace. I greet you with Prem and O. My name happens to be Prem Prasad also. I'm married to Shakuntala, Pandit Birbal, Pandit Birbal Singh, elder daughter. Today I stand before you a representative of a family in grief and relatives and friends in mourning. I have the greatest honor today to pay tribute to a stalwart and a trailblazer, Pandit Birbal Singh, also known as Jani. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm speaking to you with my heart, my soul, and my spirit. The humility in me, bow to the humility in you. We are here to grieve, to honor, to celebrate, and pay tribute to a life that will forever have its presence felt. Pandit Birbal Singh will not be going back to his earthly residence in Orlando or Georgetown or Iflot. But he will now take his rightful place and permanent place like an angel in the heavens with his deceased wife, Somwati. It's a journey we all must make. The difference is he's living a little earlier. My brothers and sisters, think about this statement for a moment and reflect on it. Someone said, don't come to my funeral and show me how much you care. Show me how much you care women are alive. It's a message for the living. Pandit Birbal is not listening to this. And I repeat it, don't come to my funeral and show me how much you care. Show me how much you care when my life. This message is for us, the living. For all those who are affected by this loss, I want to reassure you that you are not alone. And with strength and love, your souls will be refreshed and filled with the wonderful memories of the departed. My friends, today I will speak to you about a man who was very humble, who was very simple, and was a sample. A person who never had a formal education, but became a vibrant speaker a leader and a community activist in Guyana. In the religious, political community, community, as far as I'm concerned, we have lost a giant in the Arasamaj movement in Guyana and the USA. A person who was always willing to mediate, conciliate with different families, religious, and political persuasions. Ladies and gentlemen, our father walked many dusty and dirty roads and stayed in many moldy rooms while earning a living for his family, selling pants length, dress length, and watches. Yet at other times, he stayed in many mosquito and flies infested homes, trying to organize and spread the teachings of Swami Dayanand, and also help mending fences of dissenting factions in the Hindu community. He never asked for credit, benefits, or rewards in return for his work. He felt it was his duty to spread the word of the Vedas in Guyana and the USA. Ladies and gentlemen, Pandit Birbal recognized his body 
was a loan from God. He treated it well and kept it clean. His body was a temple and that is why he lived to see his 96th natal birth anniversary. He lived a life that was 100% vegetarian almost all his life. If every morning he did his hawan, rain or shine, when he was active, and for those who don't know, he had one of the best cursive handwritings you will ever see. He was an author and a poet, and published a book of poems in 2007 titled Petals from My Rose Garden. He crossed many muddy waters and snake and alligator invested canals. He has seen many riverside villages where strangers watch nervously as he tried to visit as many as our Samaj groups in Guyana and always willing to give advice, support, guidance, and willingly offer prayers. Let the thought that others are thinking of you comfort you during this difficult time. Our hearts are broken, but we are not crushed. We will miss his presence and reassuring voice. We loved it when he belonged to us, but now he belongs to the angels. We must be able to convert anger, sadness into happiness and love. My brothers and sisters, his voice is silence and his physical presence is gone. He lived a life of courage, compassion, goodwill, and charity. We will miss his fighting spirit and his stern voice. Vijay, Ravi, Hari, Rishi, Shak, and Darshni. Just as Pandis is precious in God's eyes, he is precious in our eyes also. For all those who are affected by this loss, our prayers, sympathy, and understanding are with you. Panditji, in your new world, where everything has changed, God is still watching over you and never left your side. For the surviving relatives and family, you are knocked down on the outside. Don't stay down, get up on the inside, because we love to know you remain strong. Pandit Birbal was very particular about his clothing and his food. His children were scared of him in a good way. His daughter Shakti and Darshni could not go anywhere without his consent. He would caution them about their behavior and dress code. Festivals like Diwali and Pagwa were special in his home. There were lots of roti, curry, pulauri, dalpuri, goja, varmazeli, bagani, but no meat, fish, or animal products were allowed. There are Samaj Mandir in Prashadnagar. Guyana is a testament to many families' hard work, including his. Credit to all those who have made that Mandir a reality. His family has the responsibility to keep his legacy alive. When Pope John Paul died in 2000, a note was found in his diary to the effect, if you want to honor my life, go out there and do something for the poor and elderly. Let's follow that advice. Remember, modesty and humility played a significant part in his life. He taught us solid values of hard work, family, community, and charity. My friends, we should not be scared of tomorrow because God is already there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out to celebrate his life with us. From the bottom of our hearts and from the top of our souls and from the goodness of yours, we say thank you for coming from far and near. Pandit, we may pray your Atma finds eternal peace. 
once again, thanks for helping us through the grieving period. Thank you for those whose friendship we cherish, those whose love and blessing we receive, and whose goodwill we benefit from. Cillian Dion, the famous Canadian singer, puts it best when she sang, You gave me everything. You made me what I am. I am because of you. We stand adjourned until we meet again. God loves you and so do we. Keep God first and keep peace in your heart. Things will turn out okay in time. Namaste. Thank you.